not dating that magical time when two people try to figure out if the other one is crazy. It's the most interesting game of Russian roulette you never wanted to play. Right, Chip? We spend so much time getting ourselves ready to have these interactions with other people. The whole point of dating is to try to see if you can find someone you're compatible with, to understand someone's likes and dislikes. Do you want to know the secret to 100% guarantee that you're going to have a fantastic date no matter what? Date yourself. I get it. There's stigma and it seems weird to go out and do something by yourself, maybe. You're constantly worried about judgment or feeling awkward, but it's also personally empowering and really brings you joy to do the things that you like to do. It makes you feel so good and alive. So come with me. I will show you that this is not only something that you can do, but something you should do as part of your self care. Check in with yourself, have those conversations with yourself, cultivate the relationship with yourself. Has Miley taught us nothing? We can buy ourselves flowers, we can hold our own hands, and God damn it, we can date ourselves. And we probably should. We probably should want to know our own likes and dislikes. We should probably want to have meaningful conversations with ourselves. So I'm going to go on a solo date. I'll treat myself real good. I know how I like it. Well, I'm all ready to take myself on a date. All alone. Just kidding, you guys can obviously come. So we're heading to Coronado, this beautiful little island just across the bay from San Diego. You know when you pull up and you get a parking spot right away that you just are in for a really good day. Like the universe is on your side. One, two, three, everybody's getting out and it's a beautiful and sunny day. We decided we should go for a walk by the famous Hotel Dell. This is where they filmed Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe, and it has an incredible beachfront walk that you can do. It's so funny going out with the dogs because people are absolutely obsessed with them. And so it kind of feels like, I don't know, like what I would imagine fame to feel like. Everyone wants to stop and talk to you and stuff. But they're so happy, which makes me happy. You can just see the joy being spread. They have a gorgeous beachfront walk with a private beach, which is supposed to be just for the guest of the hotel, but you can walk along it and it is truly breathtaking. The book just so romantic and calming about walking by the sea, you know? The salt and the sand, there's just something about it. It'd be romantic even if you're by yourself. I think so anyway. Well, I'm not by myself. Yeah, I have the demons. I don't know why, but I think it's such a cute idea for a date to go like the fake health shopping, to like pick a cute neighborhood and walk around. And this neighborhood has some real cute houses. So, mental note. Time to take myself out to lunch. There's this charming little French bistro in Coronado called Little Frenchie that I adore, but my partner isn't very keen on. And so I thought this was a perfect opportunity on my solo date to get to indulge in something I really enjoy. I brought my sketch pad because a lot of times when I'm having more deep conversations with myself, it helps me to do something with my hands. And part of what I've been trying to process with the, the recent passing of my niece is hard topics about life and death and our place in it. So I started drawing her emblem, which is a ladybug. Got a beautiful cheese stuffed omelet and just sat there thinking. You know, it's interesting when I went into Little Frenchie, I think three different people asked me if I was dining alone or if I was waiting for someone. There's still a stigma attached to a woman dining alone, and I think these solo dates are hopefully going to help change that a little bit for women everywhere. 
I even drew them a little picture with their emblem, thanking them for the beautiful afternoon that we spent. And then I went to a couple of stores. I love going into a stationery store and just looking around at all of the things. And we of course had to stop and buy ourselves flowers from the Coronado flower lady. She made us an absolutely beautiful bouquet. Oh my goodness, that was so magical. Oh, did you guys have fun? You dare? Oh, good. Well, I think we'll keep the good times rolling. Dream date is definitely going to a plant store and looking at plants and buying plants. So because this is a solo date and I can do what I want, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I love this little plant store. I've been coming here for years and they're so knowledgeable as a gardener who has absolutely no idea what they're doing most of the time, like 90% of the time. That's very helpful. So we're gonna go ask them what is okay to plant right here. We got some great advice about planting broccoli and cauliflower right now in the season. So we got those and we're gonna bring them home to the garden. It's such a nourishing act to garden. So I have the plants that we got at the plant store and we're going to put them in our garden bed. Now, yeah, I don't know. I think part of the reason, you know, I started the channel was trying to understand and share some stuff that I had figured out. You know, there was definitely moments where I, I have struggled and it's helped to kind of see how, I guess how other people are either struggling themselves or how they've figured it out, you know? And it, I, pretty, I don't know, lofty to think I could help someone, but I guess it's kind of that, why not me? I've learned some stuff and hopefully that can be helpful to someone else too. I think we're all trying to figure out the messiness of being human. And, you know, I've made quite a mess and uh, figured out how to clean it up or at least, you know, how to live in it somewhat. look good it's definitely hard to figure out your feelings when they're so acute they rolled into each other and i think it'll be like that for a while you know this one smells so good it definitely was a day that brought me happiness i think it's just when you're alone with your thoughts too it can be no, almost overwhelming. It, it seems like I would be doing that all the time. I'm not. I'm thinking about so many, you know, so many other things distracting my brain during the day. I don't know how much I'm actually, you know, considering. Like, how am I doing? So beautiful. I can buy myself flowers. And I guess talk to myself for hours because I kind of just did. Finishing my date with myself with a little bit of outdoor cinema, Chocolat, amazing film. It actually was a beautiful afternoon. And yes, I got asked a few times if I was dining alone, but pretty much everything else was just me creating ways and opportunities for me to do things that I love to do that make me feel good and happy and have pride and self-worth and self-care and that allow me to have those conversations with myself. And this is why I like to spend time without my husband. <laughs> I hope this has inspired you guys to be able to go on these type of solo dates yourself and please share the feedback that that you have from adventuring out with yourself and seeing what comes of it.
Until next time, this is Coco with the Afternoon Macaroon. Thanks for stopping by and taking a bite with us. And we'll see you on Tuesday with a new cooking video. And then again on Friday with a new video for our soul. Okay. I'd, I'd really like to finish. I was okay. being quiet. <laughs>